So bro, tell me what's your favorite memory from your past trip, fishing trip. A recent fishing trip, tell me what your favorite memory. <laughs> My favorite memory? Okay, so uh, I, if I can recall correctly, I was permit fishing. So uh, the client's name was uh, Bryce, Bryce Ricer. So I, I picked him up from the Placencia Key, we headed out. You know, tide was pretty early that morning and it was his last day of fishing. But uh, prior to that, he was, he was fishing two days. So we went out the first day, he hooked a permit, he lost it, heartbroken. We tried again the second day, same thing. We hooked, he hooked another permit, boom, it came off. And the last day, we were like, okay, no, this has to be it. <laughs> this was meant to be. It. So we, we left like five o'clock in the morning. We, we hit the closest flats and we worked our way out to the outer flats. And um, you know, he had a he had one little bite in the morning, and then we were like, shit, no fish on. Anyway, so we were heartbroken for a little bit, but the tide was still good, so we kept going and going and going. And then you know, we saw some few fish. Uh, we got in some shots and then after that, you know, um, the tide was already getting close to the middle of the day and we were like, oh, you know, tide's going out, you know, it's almost time to go home. And, and you know, I told Bryce, Bryce, you know, there's nothing out here, bro, it, the tide is low and, 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 you know, but I can check one more little honey hole spot, you know, let's give it a try and see what we can do. Nonetheless, you know, we checked the honey hole spot. Uh, we got out, we started waiting a little bit and we waited, we waited, we waited and all of a sudden, boom, we see a school of permit right there feeding going crazy on a flat low tide alright, made the first cast, he had a couple shots in no bite, we changed the fly again and it was like that until we changed about 6-7 flies until about 8 or 9 fly or 10 fly there about I said Bryce, you know what? I'm, you know we're getting weary now. We've been following this fish for almost like 30 minutes. You know, just back and forth. And I, you know, we position ourselves properly. And I said Bryce, this is it. It's now or never. And I told Bryce, you know, lead them about five feet because they're coming up to us. And Bryce put the fly in there. And I told him strip, strip. And I told him stop the fly now. Give it a little, little touch. And he touched the fly. Bingo. We had a fight, you know, for at least like 20 minutes, corals all over the place. And I, all I told him was, you know, Bryce, no matter what, just keep your rod tip high. Keep your rod high. Keep your rod high. Eventually, we got him into the deep and we landed that. <laughs> and he said, Bryce sat back after he landed that fish and he said, you are one expensive son of a ah! fish. <laughs> so that was, that was the highlight of my recent trip, you know, but it all boils down to being patient, being at the right time, at the right place, and also instinct. You know, instinct plays a huge role in terms of, you know, finding these fish. And, you know, I feel like I was born into that. You know, my dad is a, is a huge, you know, icon in the fly fishing industry. And I feel like, you know, I got some of that, you know, genes or majority of the genes from him in terms of, you know, finding fish, how to locate them and all that stuff. So, um, overall, that was the that was the best experience for me. <laughs> oh yeah, I could imagine how that guy felt. Trust me, I remember going out with the old man when I was younger on the flats. When uh, these guys kept this kept a, a permit, they would sit down for like a half hour and just do nothing. <laughs> that was like the peak high for them. <laughs> like literally. Yeah, and, and, that, that's right. Like, all right, I did it. I can. <laughs> I can relax. <laughs> fly fishing is a very rewarding sport, but you know, you have to have a lot of patience. You know, you have to be optimistic at all times. Doesn't matter the weather conditions or, or, or the tide conditions, you have to be optimistic at all times. These are what makes stories beautiful. This is what makes fly fishing beautiful. <laughs>